We will move on to House Bill 5154. House Bill 5154, Representative Bennett, would you like to introduce this bill, sir? Sure would. Uh, thank you, Chairman. Let's uh, get your uh, microphone on, please. Yeah, make sure it's green. Can you hear me now? I can't hear you. Now? Are you hearing him through the speaker? Okay. Uh, I'll move over here. Uh, you, sh you should be fine. Just go ahead and speak up. Okay. That's the first time anybody had to tell me to speak up. Go ahead, Chairman Bennett. You have the floor. Uh, this is the healing art of acupuncture in oriental medicine. Um, we'll, we'll, to, we'll be doing changes to the title, 37.2 of Title V, and to out replacing the words oriental medicine with Chinese medicine, which allows individuals who are otherwise certified to practice acupuncture in Chinese medicine using Chinese medical diagnosis methods. Um, I've ran this bill a couple years. Last year, COVID got us. Um, they, they have a, a acupuncture now. It's called auricular acu detox. And um, it's really proven to be a great help for those who are detoxing uh, from drugs or alcohol. We have technicians that can bring this to the uh, patients much cheaper than it would be if they went into a, an acupuncturist doctor. Um, they're supervised by acupuncturist doctors, and um, they, it consists of, of putting needles in the air, and um, it, it helps with the stress, the, the anxiety um, of detoxing. Um, I had it done to myself um, a couple years ago, and I didn't realize it until I got home that I, I felt pretty calm. I felt, you know, it was, it was a strange thing. I'm like, gee. But um, I have some witnesses that are, that are going to be coming on, and they can explain it better than I can. Um, the technicians are, are sort of get a certificate of training, and uh, um, it has to, you know, they do a great job. And, and, it, and with the cost, with the cost effect uh, being uh, as low as it is, it's, it's a, a great tool for detoxing. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman Bennett. Are there any questions from the committee for Chairman Bennett? Okay, we will have two, uh, two call-in uh, witnesses. Ready when you are, Chris. Chris Montero. Okay. Hello, Chris. Yes. Chris Montero, this is Representative Casey, Chairman of the Health and Human Services Committee. We are here with uh, a bill by Representative Bennett, House Bill 5154. You have the floor. Great. Thank you, uh, Chairman and members of the committee, for giving me the opportunity to testify tonight. Um, I'm just going to give you a brief introduction about myself to give some context to my comments. So I have been a licensed doctor of acupuncture here in Rhode Island for the last 22 years. Um, and. I run a clinic called Providence Community Acupuncture, which is probably one of the largest practices in the state. And our mission and work has been focused largely on accessibility and affordability, trying to make acupuncture services accessible to people of common, uh, you know, regular income. Um, over the many years I've been practicing here, I've had a lot of conversations with nurses and social workers, mental health counselors. Um, and people in the recovery field about the um, acupuncture itself, but also what uh, Representative um, Bennett was speaking to, the ear acupuncture protocol, which is something that has been utilized in recovery uh, settings for over 40 years and in probably for a couple of decades also in uh, post-disaster and um, trauma settings. Uh, after 9-11, people were down in New York City doing the five-point protocol in here. It, it basically, in a nutshell, helps the nervous system to re-regulate itself, to bring the sympathetic fight-or-flight response down and to you know, increase the parasympathetic response. So in 2016, after some conversations with one of the directors of uh, Kodak, Laura Levine, who is going to speak tonight, um, we we had uh, gotten a, a we had 
had a, a bill that got passed that allowed licensed chemical dependency professionals in Rhode Island to use this protocol. So previously it was just acupuncturists, now it's LCDPs and acupuncturists. And this legislation would just expand that a little bit further and allow social workers and mental health counselors and certified alcohol and drug counselors and um, nurses to also use the protocol after a, uh, a specific training. And it's a very safe and effective and very cost effective treatment that, you know, we, we really had hoped that this would pass last year. Um, and in the year that it's passed, we've had 400 opioid related deaths in Rhode Island, which is, you know, the second epidemic that's happening here. And so, um, we really are hoping that, that this year we can get this done and that you know, by next year we could be having more people trained and implementing this through their own agencies where they're already working and where people are seeking services and have a relationship to those providers. Um, and, and that's kind of it. I have, you know, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. The other part of the bill is really just like a, uh, a, uh, a logistical cleanup because the rules and regs and the statute don't match in regard to uh, our licensing and education requirements. Um, I'm submitting written testimony on that as well, but I won't take up any more time because uh, I know you have a long agenda tonight. Thank you, Chris. Um, so thank you. Thank you very much for your testimony. We appreciate that. Are there any questions from the committee for Chris? Ms. Montero? Okay. Then we will move on to our next witness. Um, we have uh, Laura Levine is next, I believe. Hello, Laura. Yes. Laura, this is Representative Casey calling from the Health and Human Hi. Services Committee. Um, we have you Hello. on. We have you online with the committee for testimony regarding House Bill 5154. Um, we just heard from Chris Montero, and you are next. Go Thank right ahead. Thank you so much. Um, so uh, this is Laura Levine. I work at Kodak. Um, I'm. Thank you for having us, dear Chairman Casey. Um, we have been working on this bill for several years. I'm a licensed mental health counselor and a licensed chemical dependency counselor and I've practiced for over 30 years. I've worked at Kodak for 22 years in various capacities and the recent um, job I had was a program director of the site at Eleanor Slater. We had a program called Pain Solutions and it was designed to meet the needs of patients with chronic pain and who may or may not be opiate dependent. So we focus on holistic treatment and acu-detox, um, the five needle points was a big part of our treatment, at least before COVID hit. Um, so before COVID hit, we, hit, we um, had a small acute detox session in one of our rooms, and patients came weekly and reported that this tool provided some relief from their chronic pain. After success with this, we were able to offer the ear protocol to all our patients, and I've seen patients who are anxious in individual therapy and are able to use that to really help them center and slow down and be able to really focus on their issues. Um, so we worked for this successful passage of the original bill and allowed licensed chemical dependency professionals, like Chris said, to practice, and we really would like to expand it. Um, we see it's a very simple tool. It takes just a couple seconds. Um, it, go it goes great complementary and all kinds of other holistic medic um, a holistic other therapies and it um, opens up people's eyes to dealing with their issues not just through one particular means but through, you know, they open up to yoga and massage and other types. So um, we just hope we can continue to use this tool and expand its use. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your testimony, Laura. We appreciate that. Are there any questions for Ms. Levine, please? Hearing none, that will, con that will conclude the hearing for House Bill 5154. We will close that.